Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3 Ruined World. This will be part 26 of our Let's Play, and uh, welcome back to the Filth Factory. So in the last episode we finished up the stuff with the Happy Spiders, and we tracked down the Friendly Cockroaches. And they told us where the, uh, where the cockroaches are coming from basically, which is the Filth Factory. And that is where we are right now. So we're just sort of trekking through it. I don't want to go through the door. Okay, well, I mean, I'm always up for killing small cockroaches. Wow, you survived that. You can't. Oh, I, I guess you can't. If I move here, yeah, it's going to cost one. And then... That'll do. Uh, these are all just normal cockroaches, so that's easy enough. I'm not too worried about regular ones. Poison's kind of annoying, I'll admit, but... Not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. So yeah, we are hopefully... Hopefully on track to... Finish up on the Isle of Begail. If we're lucky, that is. Ah, uh, now we have huge cockroaches. Ooh. I I never expect Horum to do well with these bows, and I should because he is a uh, nephew, which means he gets a bonus to bows. But even so, just, I I never expect it. Swap kill. I mean, thinking about some other games to play. Um, as of recording this, I did try and record Neo Scavenger again, but I have forgotten what I did to uh, to get there. The sign says Filth Creation Chamber Two. Ooh, four beasts. I'm not a big fan, because I believe they're the ones that poison you when you attack them. At least they're not the ones that do spine shield. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's a thorny spore beast or something. Alright, meanwhile, meanwhile, while Jesh Osh is fighting off two spore beasts, Ozzy knows just like, yeah, I can kill uh, one cave slime, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> Die. Yeah, okay, they are the ones that poison you when you melee attack them. Fair enough. Guess I'll just try and avoid that where I can. Stab. Alright, let's do some level up, shall we? Uh, for you, let's upgrade... Upgrade strength, I guess. Now, I believe I said I was going to upgrade his nature law. Because it needs to be higher. And we'll also do pole weapons. Cordelia, you can upgrade intelligence again. Wow, you're really becoming a massive, like, glass cannon for, uh... For spells. We'll go spellcraft again. Uh, Horum, you must be close. Yeah, okay. He's, he's real close. Ooh, a portal, you say? Well, I will play with that in a minute. Okay, there's nothing in there. It's just some sort of cell. Again, just some kind of cell. So we discover that there's like uh, two power channel maintenance docks. We found out there's some kind of god damn it, effluvium storage vats. I don't know, giant pile of just blur. Uh, this all contains three towers of nutrients, dirt, and plant matter sucked down from the surface above or brought in by roaches. From here, pipes feed the stuff into the workings of the factory to make roach feed. 
Roach feed. That just sounds disgusting. Uh, is that a freaking laser? Is that a freaking laser beam? Uh, there was a large stone stairway here, leading down to the core of the factory. Someone has caved in the passage using magical explosions to block the tunnel with tons and tons of rock. You have to find another way down. Could I not just... Just, just break... break rock? Like this. Boom. Can I just do that instead? There is writing on this chest, which changes to become readable as you look at it. It says, Emergency Supplies. Emergency supplies of what? Ooh, sanctification. Yes. Fiery wand. Meh. And a healing potion. And bandages. I don't really give a shit about the bandages. Although, actually, do they cure wounds? No. It's just a small amount of health. Who cares? It's what I have magic for. I feel like in all of these uh, fancy settings like that, they never really appreciate just how lazy you get when you have access to magic. Oh wow, these things actually hurt quite a bit. Okay. Well. I'll be honest, that's a problem. I wonder if I can do a mighty blow. That's a melee attack. Melee attack. Flawless shot. What does this one do? Blinding shot. Oh yeah! I forgot that was a thing. That's a good attack, actually. Nice. Well, ensnare doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, I'm gonna try and kill... Try and kill this guy, since he's way more of a danger, okay, than the giant cave slug. Exhibit A, I guess. Right. Oh my god. You need to heal yourself. Uh, you just shank a slug. Hmm. Nice. Poison. I like it, I like it. Good old Cloak of Curses coming back to help me. Yeah, attack Horum, he can take it. Yeah, those frozen worms, they do a lot of damage. Get him! Oh. Yeah, I don't know what to play. So many good games. I, I think I've fixed one of my issues with recording, so I can now, at my leisure... Ooh, treated carapace. Oh, it's actual armor. Minus 15 hit chance, plus 10% chance of parry. Eh. Yeah, probably not. Probably just jump it. So I should be able to record, yeah, Call of Pripyat at my leisure, whenever I want. Uh, filth creation chamber number three. Well, that's good, but let's go this way. These rooms were once barracks. The open doors, empty rooms, and nondescript trash betray no hints about whoever once lived here. They made sure to erase every hint of their identities before leaving. Still think it's someone that hates the anima. Would make a lot of sense. Oh god, there's a basilisk here. Oh, I resisted the stun. Thank god for that. One crap. I thought you resisted the stun. I swear I saw that on both of them. The sign says, written in an odd flowing hand, warning basilisk. Yeah, thanks. Generally the warning comes, you know, before the thing that you're warning about. Just pro tip. Uh... Might do a little more arcane law, and we'll upgrade tool use on uh, on Horum. So why did you keep a basilisk in here? Seems odd. 
didn't drop anything, did it? No. Damn, that's a shame. Yeah, it seems like we're, uh... Seems like we're about to come full circle and go all the way around. I guess I'll just heal up the Orthing awesome node and make sure he doesn't die. I doubt he will, but you never know. Man, that's got a range on it. Actually, I can tell you what I'm going to play. Guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed, because I'm saving this for a special occasion. But if we... Sorry, if. We're growing pretty well. When we get to 100 subscribers and we unlock all sorts of fun things on YouTube. Not really. Mainly just a couple of things. Like a custom URL. It's nice. I, I want a custom URL. Whoops, I misclicked. Uh, I will be playing probably Metro 20... Well, actually, 2034 is the name of the book. It is Last Light. That's what the name of the uh, game is. I will be playing that. I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. So, you know, shameless... You know, insert shameless plug here. Uh, if you want to see... A playthrough of Metro Last Light to follow up the Metro 2033 uh, playthrough. You know, share with your friends. Get more subscribers. A shameless plug. Doesn't get much more shameless than that. A roach prototype. Sounds... Sounds absolutely awful. Sounds like I want it dead as soon as possible. Oh, there's two. How nice. Wait, did it, does it like spread? As you pass this vat of goop, it starts to bubble. Clouds of mold spores billow out. You bend over double retching. Charming. Yeah, do they leave like some kind of... Oh, holy shit, that hurt a lot. I'm going to heal myself. Uh, meanwhile... We're going to freeze everything. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I didn't expect it to be that effective. Yeah, there's some sort of acid burning thing that gets you there. Okay, yeah, if we can have less of those prototypes, that would be just fine with me. Uh, anything with a bit of money will be good. A bit of our chemical equipment, some hourglasses. They're not worth shit all, but money's money. Crap. I really, really should pay attention to that. Uh, heal yourself. In fact, let's be real, I... should and will just cure everyone. Except for the Aussie nerd who didn't need curing. Whoops. Uh, disease emergency treatment room. Do I... Well, this seems like a whole operation. Recovery. Same as curing the benefits. Ooh, that would have been good. Spine shield spell would group heal. I don't have, like, a revival thing. That's frustrating. Uh, well, we're just going to look inside for the moment. There is a pedestal here. On the top is a delicate glass hemisphere, inside which swirls opaque green gas. This message is carved around the hemisphere. Break in case of rampant disease. Break it. You break the glass hemisphere and soothing green gas rises up into the air. It smells like fresh cut grass and energizes you as you inhale it. It cleanses your system of all disease and then dissipates. Unfortunately, that was the only glass full of gas in this room. Wondering if I should have done that. There was a large stone stairway cut here, someone. Okay, so they've destroyed another staircase. I'm guessing I have to take the portal. Since it's basically the only place I haven't been. That's, uh. Hmm. What I'm really hoping I can do. Is over here? Shader. Shader's the biggest one, right? I want to I wanna say that's what it was. 
Like the... Yeah, no, I think so. I'm really hoping that Shader will revive my people, but I'll bet you it won't. Bet you it won't. Oh my god, it did. <gasps> oh, I have another friendly town. Thank god, because that was really, like, they should have. If they hadn't have revived, I would have been a little bit miffed, because if, if it required me to go all the way back to Fort Emergence just to, you know, just to revive someone on the Isle of the Gale, that would have sucked. Uh, also, before I forget, we'll do that. We'll uh, buff this. Oops. Uh, is there anything else we can buff? I don't think so, right? Because you can't have more than one buff at a time. I guess that's a ward, isn't it? Yeah, water floats, water suit. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think there's any other buffs I can do. Right, where does the portal lead? You find a magical portal. When you approach it, a voice says, Only a single being is allowed in control room at one time. Please pass through when ready. Does someone enter? Oh my god. Another one of these, like, split up the crew. Send the Aussie nerd. What fresh hell am I going to have to fight in here? Okay, it's just a couple of cockroaches. Pretty satisfied that the Aussie node can take these guys. Well, you hit me, so now you have to die. God, look at these misses on 45%. I say it nearly every episode, but if you have less than like an 80% chance of success to hit in this, just give up. Also, I'm gonna go back because I just saw... Ah, uh, no, hang on, stop the combat, there we go. I just saw a door we haven't been in. Uh, power channel. Because I didn't go in here the first time. What's the lasers? What's with the lasers? I'm not used to my fantasy games having lasers. Come and get me. So come around the corner where I can fight you. There we go. Anyone else? In the hall to the south, you see three beams of searing magical energy. Oh, sorry, they're not lasers. It is searing magical energy. Well, that's much better. If it's not lasers. They send heat into the pit of filth below, keeping it nice and warm and optimal for roach breeding. If you were in their path, you would probably be charred almost instantly. Right, so I'm guessing that's why we need the control room, to switch off the lasers. Sorry, searing magical energy. Keep making that mistake, my bad. As you walk down the corridor, you hear a rumbling noise behind you. You look back and see that the wall has shifted away, revealing a room filled with skulls and bones. Ooh, the whites might be dangerous? I don't remember. Ghoul, absolutely not. Okay, it might be a little dangerous. What's with the zombie trap? Can you all just, like, die? Ow! Okay, that's pretty dangerous. Funny moving slowly. I hate it. Um, I mean, I'm just going to cheat. I'm, I'm going to just jump back and heal myself. That's what I'm going to do. You know, screw you guys. Uh, yes. Aussie nerd. Right, moving on. I'm worried about what's going to be in here. Hello? Guardian cockroach. Yeah, something like that is what I'm worried about. Um. Right, what can I do here? A good adrenaline rush? Yeah, no, that was... That was the thing to do. Uh, not gonna touch that yet. Magical notes. Grab more of them. Blank. Blank and blank. Okay, I'll grab one of these. Crack open the book and flip through it. All the pages in the book are blank. Is it the same with this one? Yeah, okay. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. Just uh, taking stock, my surroundings. There's a thick book on this pedestal. The thick papyrus pages are covered with dense, strange writing. Trying to decipher it. At first, the writing on the pages of this book is alien to you. As you look, however, the words reform on the page, enabling you to read them. The book is a manual. It describes in broad terms how the filth factory works. Basically, it manufactures nutritious filth and dumps it into the massive pit below, where the roaches can eat it and grow strong. The stuff need, needs warmth to rot, which is provided by constant magical beams. The garbage created is actually decomposing plant matter grown in three subterranean artificial swamps on this level. Pipes suck up the plants and carry them to the refining room. There, the plants are mixed with diseased goo sucked up from where the roaches grow. This infects it, giving it the noxious quality that makes the roaches that eat it carriers of all sorts of vicious ailments. Then pipes carry it to silos, and from there through a huge trench down into the roach pit. There it is warmed by hot magical beams, helping it decay. It is eaten by the evil creatures, who then go out to cause carnage. It's an incredibly complex and carefully thought out operation. It was created by someone with both power and genius. The machinery on this floor is described as having major shielding and magical protection. It will be very difficult to destroy. Even if you do smash the machinery on this floor, the slime pit below still has enough filth to generate roaches for many years to come. Till all of that is cleaned up, the plague will remain. Interesting. Okay, probably shouldn't have opened that. Gentlemen. Well, gentle roaches. Probably should have just played with the uh, play with the switches a bit. Yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna have to switch it off in a very specific order. Yeah, I'm gonna save it again because it seems like this keeps going around the corner. Ah, uh, actually, that uh, I don't know, that was a gold bar, right? No, it's fine steel. Never mind. Now, there's lightstone. Yeah, okay. So I still can't go down, basically. So what do we got over here? This was once a control panel, however, someone has carefully and thoroughly smashed it. It's useless now. Okay. Release swamp scavengers, deactivate L1 to L2 sewer conduit, reactivate L1 to L2 sewer conduit, close the scavenger gates. Well, let's release the swamp scavengers. So open that. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought it would happen. It would open like secret doors on all of these. Yeah. So now that's done. Let's go and kill the swamp scavengers. Ah, uh, but first probably want to heal. Oh, hi. You were surprising. Also, you do a lot of damage. Whoops, not who I wanted, but... It's amazing I can still make mistakes in this game when it's the same order every time and I can still forget. Uh fuck you and your spine shield. Just keel over. I'm so done with spine shields. Thank you. Okay, thankfully I think there's only one. Yeah, it's amazing how I can still make mistakes on the order of things, even though it's the same order every time. Okay, no, there were two. Jesh oh, Osh, come on, man. Work with me here. Really need you to hit sometimes. I, I get these two not hitting with the ranged weapons, but come on now. Come on, guys. Any day now. Just, just one hit from either of you is going to kill him. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes. Secret button. Secret button. Secret button. That's going to go to Horum. That's going to go to me, I guess. Uh, do, do, do. Leather pants. That's Dem's good money. Alright, so let's go deal with all of the Swamp Scavengers. Should still be a laser there. The laser's off! Why is the laser off? Ooh, Razor Discs. Yes. Chainmail, it's just trash. And an Energy Elixir. Might give that to Horum. Ooh, and a button. Which just goes over here. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Did I not? Yeah, I already opened that. Holy crap. That was surprising. Oh no, there's three over here. Uh, That should be okay. They can only attack me one at a time. And I can heal up between attacks. So that should be alright. They're just going to file in. No, I'm going to stop here. And just keep everyone healed. There we go. That's better. Yep. Come into my choke point. So I can miss at you re repeatedly. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on. Come on. This is the round. This is my moment. Wait, is he not spine shielded? He has not. Why do I say things? Why why is that a thing that I do? Why do I jinx things? Yep, you just come on down. Ah, uh, Josh Osh, I might skip your turn. I don't think you can afford to attack. What is spine shield? Is that a thing I can get? I don't remember. I want to say it is. Okay, I think we killed everything. It's always another one just to surprise me. You can't reach. Fair enough. It's a pretty oblique angle, I will admit. It's using a lot of, uh... A lot of magic energy. Sorry, spell energy. Not mana. Mana's for... Mana's for nerds. This is spell energy. Come on, please just kill it. Thank you. Uh, okay. What does this say? There's a thick book on this pedestal. Okay, try to decipher it. You can improve your knowledge of the spell Blink here. Nice. Where is Blink? Is that a... Spell spell? Must be. Yep, there it is. Ensnares all nearby foes and teleports you to a new location. Yeah, I remember that. So hold up. Is... Is Spine Shield a thing I can get? Divine Fire Domination. Domination's pretty good. But it sort of gets to the point where once you learn that, most things resist it anyway. So, you know, take it or leave it. Uh, Divine Restoration... I'm not seeing it! Cloak of Bolts, Minor Summon, Lightning Spray, Pool of Ice... Pool of Ice, Showers an Area in Ice. Cool. Ah yes, Capture Soul and Simulcrum. Really cool things when you get the Spirit Prism. Uh, Dispel Barrier... Summon Aid, Pool of, Pool of Corruption... Rains Burning Acid on an Area. I'll have Terra Fire Blast, I can't summon Cloak of... Doesn't look like you can. I want to say it's one of these, but I don't think it is. Nah. So you can't get Spine Shield. That's... Honestly, just pretty disappointing. Right, let's go and deal with this last... set of Swamp Scavengers. Boo! Okay, they, they booed me pretty hard. Oops, let's go back this way. Uh, let's do a... Oh, no, Spine Shield for two turns. Oh, because it's enhanced. Ah. Oh, I am dumb. I am the dumb. I have the dumb. Everyone's going to 
be like yelling at me and being like, no, no, you can get it here. And I'm just sitting there going, I don't think you can get it. No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Sorry. I found it, guys. Don't worry. Uh, can you just go down here and shoot? Yeah, there we go. Right, you attack that. You attack that. Uh, it's put me in kind of a dangerous position. If they attack Aussie Nerd, he might die. Ugh. Probably don't attack this turn. Bit risky. Even though I only have to go back to Shader, that doesn't mean I want to be making that round trip every five seconds. Right. Nothing special in here by the looks. We're just going to burn off the acid. Uh, why can't I... Oh, it's probably too far. Probably too far away. Okay, so let's go into the control room again. Now that we've done that. So, release one scavengers, deactivate L1 to L2 sewer conduit, reactivate L1 to L2. Close scavenger. So, I'm guessing I want to deactivate the sewer conduit. Oh, that's the sewer conduit. Oh, gotcha. Right, that does let us progress. I don't know what it lets us progress towards. You hear grinding and rumbling. You would guess that the factory is gearing up to restart itself. You can see a massive corridor to the south. The walls and floor have been charred by constant exposure to magical energy. Uh, beamed out of the huge crystals to the east. If you move quickly, you might get through before they are reactivated. The smell of smoke and ozone makes you feel weak, and ashes are starting to sting your eyes. The power that pours through this conduit is remarkable. You get a closer look at the crystals which project the energy. They seem to be drawing power from the globes behind them. The globes are dark now, but little flickers of light within indicate that they won't remain so for long. Whew, made it. There is a corpse of a human here. A combination of roach interference and constant warmth have left the body unpleasantly unfit for public viewing. Whoever it was wrote a note before he or she died. However, roaches ate away most of it. Only one word remains visible. Elsner. Probably who's behind it, I imagine. Uh, an iron short sword. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to hang on to that. Because if I can get two of those, I can start jewel wielding. Uh, some tongs. Take those. Uh, da -da -da. Can't read. Emergency power stoppage. Your breastplate, don't really want. Ooh, gold coins, razor disc, and a polar fur cloak. Ooh. I think everyone's got Vanatai cloaks though, right? Ooh, you don't. Okay, done. Here you go. And this is worth money, yes? Good, it can go on the junk box. I accidentally put the other in the junk box too. Oops, razor discs. They're not junk. Ah, so this leads down. Well, we're going to go down, but then we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so that I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.